We knew we wanted to come to Vancouver, got to get as close as you can. It was more affordable originally to be in, in Burnaby. And we, let, we had everything. All, we had all the things before. We had a house, we had two cars, we had land, we had outbuildings. Do you know what those are? Anyway, <laughs> but as our son got closer to kindergarten and finances kind of do this. We're here to talk about uh, housing here in Vancouver. It's an issue that has been on the table a lot. I imagine a vibrant and a sustainable neighborhood with public transportation, local grocers, community gardens, lively central areas. I envision there to be parks and affordable housing. Currently, I'm a high school teacher in Burnaby and I bike commute from here every day. And uh, I live in a housing co-op. It was a, a neighborhood that was affordable in terms of housing, uh, which it no longer is. So it's like, okay, well, three bedrooms in the West End, hmm, I don't think so. So we applied to 35 co-ops. And in that process, I was, it finally dawned on me that, you know, yes, we're exactly in the place we want to be, but we're never going to live in a house. You can move bigger, cheaper places, but also in the city here where it's more expensive, um, it's also closer, so the saving and commuting time, or a cheaper, bigger place. It depends what the person um, wants, wants to do. There are many families with three children or two children, and I would love to see that community feeling, family feeling grow, and more availability to more families. I really want to be able to stay in the West End as I grow older. I'm 37 now. I've lived here since I was 23, 24, and during that time I've got married and had a child, and it's increasingly difficult. The apartments are, are fine when you're single and they're small, but as your family grows you want more space, and more space means really high rents. And I feel a bit sorry for people paying rent because it's almost impossible to, to afford even to to rent a one or two bedroom apartment. So I hope somehow one day there can be a more diversity. So not only owing a home, but people paying rent can also afford to live here. I'm walking down Commercial Drive one sunny Sunday morning and uh, not really looking for a place but just kind of keeping my eyes open and I got to commercial in Kitchener and there was a little sign in the window and it said apartment for rent $6.95 and I went I can afford that that's cheap all right cool and I went inside and in my mind it was exactly what I wanted I, I closed my eyes and I went this is this is what I've always wanted this is beautiful and uh, commercial drive is my driveway this is fantastic I do worry about living in the shadow of high-rises and I worry about parks disappearing and a lack of community. It's not easy with the property prices the way it is in Vancouver. We can't expand, we live in a valley surrounded by mountains and oceans. We have a mild climate, beautiful city, so many people want to live here. It's my hope that there's affordable housing for families and young families to stay in the neighborhood and so they can create memories much like the ones that I had. Housing affordability means that people who have roots in the community will be able to continue to be part of the community. It allows the community to be um, um, able to revive itself over time and um, it's important to not allow gentrification and um, sort of outside forces influence too much uh, what the community's decisions will be. 